Hi, this is Jason Tatum with a demonstration of the Monster Shield prototype. The Monster Shield is uh, this green board here that's actually plugged into an Arduino microcontroller. And uh, we got an MP3 module uh, that plugs in on the side here. Uh, this is the audio out, and that's going to uh, some cheap uh, PC speakers. Uh, here's my uh, power supply to the Monster Shield. This over here is my uh, parallax motion sensor and that's uh, hooked up to the uh, uh, screw-in terminal there. This is uh, just a standard Ethernet cable. Um, this basically plugs into an optional keypad that you can use for uh, doing a... Uh, you can actually keybang in your animation into any of the 15 animation slots. This is optional. Uh, you could also plug the Monster Shield directly into a computer and that will allow you to uh, edit the sequence on the computer and then you can download uh, uh, your animations to the board. So this is completely optional. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to demonstrate this. I'm not going to demonstrate the Windows software uh, this time around. Uh, this uh, nasty looking cable here uh, is actually going to be replaced with a, a nice ribbon cable, but uh, I didn't have one on hand so I just kind of made this one real quick. This is the relay module here. Those are high voltage relays. Uh, we can uh, switch AC current as well as uh, DC current with those. Right now I'm running 12 volts uh, DC to these two solenoid valves which are going to those two pneumatic pistons. And uh, let's go ahead and record an animation. So on this keypad i got a record button all the way on the right. And then these four buttons here are for uh, controlling each of the four relays. Uh, when we're not in record mode, the, uh, these buttons also serve other purposes. I can select the next and previous animation slot by pressing these two buttons right here. And uh, the fourth button here will actually manually trigger the, uh, the prop as if we, see, we uh, received a, uh, a trigger signal from whatever a trigger happens to be. Uh, that's good for testing purposes. But uh, for now, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Normally I would use two hands for this, but uh, we'll see. We'll press the uh, record button. You'll see the uh, MP3 player will start to play. And you'll see the number one start flashing. There we go. Now I'm going to bang in the sequence here that I want to do. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing this random here. Okay, I'm done recording, so I'm going to press the record button. Okay, now that uh, sequence that I just did, that's actually programmed in here. And um, I can trigger it manually by pressing this button here, or this time I'm just going to wave my hand in front of the motion sensor and that will trigger it and it's going to play back the animation I already recorded and there it goes. Now the cool thing here is you can actually program up to 15 animation sequences onto this board and um, you can have uh, one of those sequences uh, be configured as a background sequence that always plays until the prop is triggered. Um, you can also have it randomly go through uh, the animation slots or you can have it go through uh, the slots sequentially or you can say stay on this animation slot and uh, which means it'll always do that same animation over and over again. And you can also uh, disable animation slots that you don't want to use uh, you can do that uh, by some buttons right on the board. Um, you can also use the Windows software, uh, which I'm not showing you in this video, but you can use the Windows software to do that as well. And uh, that's it for this video.